Guys, it's Juno. Welcome to uh, another LBA battle. This is actually the final game of the LBA regular season, week 10, round 20. So get hype. We're playing for playoff position. Um, at the time of playing this battle, I could end anywhere from second seed to sixth seed in the Aqua Division. It's super tight. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and try to get the best position that I possibly can. So I'm playing uh, my friend uh, Under the Radar, aka Kelly. Um, link to his channel will probably be in the description of her, if I remember. And looking at his team, he has a pretty cool team. Um, he has a Moongus too, which he didn't bring, which, you know, ended up working out. But anyway, um, he has um, Tornadus, uh, Mega Gardevoir, Fraligator, Regular Blastoise, uh, Slowbro, Slowbro, and Flygon. And on my side of the field, I have a Thunderous, Clefable, Excadrill, um, Gothitelle, Halucha, and making his first appearance of the season after being picked up in week 16. Um, not week 16, uh, week 8, round 16, is um, Slow King. So we're going to go ahead and kick this one off. Um, it's not a super long one, as you guys can tell from the length of the video, but either way, um, I'm going to go out into Glad I'm On, because I named uh, all my mods after uh, like lines from Juice um, by Chance the Rapper, because that's a good song. Anyway, um, turn 1, he leads Flygon, I lead Thunderous. We both double, so I can tell that he's probably not... Um, Probably not Scarf, because he probably would have stayed in there and probably clicked Stone Edge, but anyway, I just end up going for the T-Wave on Blastoise, half anticipating a switch, because I really do kind of set up on this thing, um, but as you guys are going to see, this is kind of an interesting Blastoise set, I was half expecting Roar, um, but it is not what I got at all, I believe this actually Mirror Coat Blastoise, um, he's brought it a couple times this week, or this season rather, and uh, wasn't actually sure if he was going to bring it, um, but you know, he ended up bringing it, so that is of course pretty cool, um, and so he's going to go ahead and switch out right here after I do get to plus one um, because, you know, I'm in a pretty good position. He ends up going into Screamer, which is the Mega Gardevoir, which is kind of scary. As I end up going for the Moonblast. And because I am plus one um, Spadef and I get the special attack drop right there, um, I know I can live any hit. And right here, I'm just going to go ahead and click T-Wave again because my set this week is actually soft-boiled. Um, Calm Mind, T-Wave, Moonblast. I'm mono-attacking Fairy because the only thing... Like, he had a couple of things to stop it. Like, he had clear smog stuff and taunt stuff. But I'm just going to T-Wave to ensure that I can recover versus this thing. And, uh, basically just out... And also outspeed it with Thunderous. Because, um, this week for Thunderous, I actually brought zero speed. Because I was like, okay, um... I need something that can just generally wall break his team in case he does bring Trick Room. Um, because, you know, like, I thought Trick Room was a pretty viable option for him this week. He ended up not bringing it, so it ends up working out for me. But, you know... Um, uh, I, I just needed something that could pretty much just lead off, I could lead off with and get a kill. Um, it had the appropriate moves to Oko everything on his team bar Flygon, um, but he ends up going into Scortacular right here, which is the Blastoise. I'm going to go for the Moonblast as he goes for the Mirror Coat, and right here I'm like, oh, ow, that hurt a lot. Um, let me go, and... Let me go ahead and continue to set up on this thing, because that's the thing I can do. He ends up switching out, knowing that I will want to try to recover or something of the sort. So I just end up going for another softball. It's not even an issue. It's not even an issue right now. We got this entire game on locks. Um, Clefable is actually a huge threat in this game. And uh, as you guys can see, it does cause uh, Kelly a few problems. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, I. I'm going to Moonblast, uh, as he does reveal to be Life Orb, and I will be able to 2 it KO this thing. He is going to go for the U-turn, probably anticipating the T-Wave, or just not wanting to get knocked out by another Moonblast, because uh, he is certainly in range of another. So, um, he's going to go back out into Squirtacular right here, uh, which is his Blast Wizards. I'm just going to Calm Mind again, and right here, I lose nothing by Calm Minding the plus 6, plus 6, and then Okoing him with the Moonblast. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and soft boil right here, kind of fearing the crit, uh, crit scald, um, as he ends up getting fully paired. Also, it prevented him from going for mirror coat and getting off damage. So, as I said, I'm just going to continue to call mind, and during this little uh, boosty session right here, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a couple of things. First of which is uh, LBA playoffs. Um, I've actually already played my first round game. Um, that will be up uh, probably next weekend, uh, just because... Like, I'm still trying to get caught up after uh, a little bit of a break um, with spring break and stuff. So, i um, still trying to get caught up on that. But, you know, it's no biggie. Um, it is Tupac. But, <laughs> but um, also, shout out to D-Train for recording my battles and putting the Thunderous logo there. Really does help a lot. Makes it look a lot better, in my opinion. Um, it's really sick. Anyway, 
Um, last thing is, uh, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna continue to see him on his things. So I can just now go for the move last. Also, shout out to Wyatt, uh, aka Mr. Murkrow, for uh, doing the thing, genning me the mons. Um, really appreciate it, man. He goes out into his Flygon right here, clicks EQ, and as you guys can see, that does zero damage. I'm just gonna go for the Moon Blast, and I believe at this point I've knocked out three of his Pokemon, and uh, I think he just runs. No, uh, he's, go he's gonna send out this, and, and then I think he runs. No, he air slashes. I'm getting all mixed up, but anyway, point is that he runs. Um, I end up, so because he ran and I still had all six Pokemon left, um, it's basically just a forfeit. I end up picking up a 6-0 win, um, so that is pretty neat, I guess. Um, so that is going to wrap up the final LBA game of the season. If you guys did enjoy this regular season, please make sure to leave a like, and also if you guys are hyped for the playoffs, make sure to leave a like. Um, we'll be playing JJ, aka the guy with rain. Um, if you guys do remember that battle from... A month, month or two ago. Oh, uh, he's the guy with rain. A uh, super scary team. We're going to be playing him in round one. So anyway, um, if you guys didn't enjoy today's video, I already talked about that. Also, make sure to make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, who was the MVP for week 10? Um, if you guys do remember in the last battle, it was kind of a team effort. Um, and in today's battle, Clefable put the entire squad on its back again. So anyway, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.